Hey guys, Tyler here with API Nation, here today to show you how to sync Shop Boss with QuickBooks Online to get all of those repair orders, part sales, and payments synced right on over into your QuickBooks automatically. So the first thing you want to do is you want to log into your Shop Boss account at shopbosspro.com. This is the only way to set up this integration. If you're already an existing API Nation customer, you will not be able to set it up going through our app store. And that's because we've got a very special connection set up with Shop Boss to make life far easier for you guys. So go ahead and punch in your shop ID, choose your user and select your password just like you would normally. And as soon as you're into Shop Boss, you'll be able to see that you've got the accounting section on the left hand side. When you click accounting, it'll bring you on over to a page that includes QuickBooks. So click on QuickBooks and you will see right here that you can create your API Nation account through ShopBoss just like that. So what you want to do is click on that big green button right there, create API Nation account. Now, once you've got that all set up, it'll take you right on through setup, which will allow you to go ahead and connect your QuickBooks online account. So you can go and pick your company the proper company that you'd like to choose. And then you can go on through and select any of the settings that you'd like to use for your integration as well. So you'll pick that account that you just selected there, click next. And on this page, you'll be able to select a couple of different options that we've got right here. So first we've got the income account and that income account guys is going to be where all of your sales from your products and your parts and your labor for all of this income is going to be uh, accounted for in QuickBooks. You're going to want to, want to pick whatever income account is uh, what you're looking for. So we'll pick uncategorized income right here. That's typically a pretty good choice. We have this allow $0 repair orders and part sales option that is unselected by default. And what that means is that if you guys have any $0 repair orders or $0 part sales coming through for any of those partnerships that you've got with other uh, customers of yours, we will not be tracking those in QuickBooks. If you do want to see your $0 repair orders or part sales, make sure this box is checked. But by default, we are not going to be looking for those. And if they come through, we will be ignoring them. Um, now on the other side, we've got this use shop boss taxes option that is selected by default. And what that means is that we are going to take the tax calculation from shop boss and we're going to use that in QuickBooks and we're going to tell QuickBooks not to do that tax calculation for us. Now, if you want to go ahead and uncheck the shop boss tax option there, you'll see a warning. And that's because QuickBooks is not quite as good at calculating that tax as shop boss is. So if you do decide to use the QuickBooks tax instead, you will see a difference of anywhere from a penny to a couple of pennies on all of your ROs coming through. They're not going to match shop boss 100%. And we know that causes problems for a lot of you guys. So our recommendation is always, always that you're using the shop boss taxes. And if you decide not to use shop boss tax, please consult with your accountant and make sure you know exactly what you're doing. Now with that, I'm going to go ahead and click subscribe and start sync. Uh, nice and easy. It's going to ask us for our payment information. So I'll be right back. I'll skip right through this part for you guys. All right. And just like that, as soon as you've gotten through with that payment information, you'll see that you've got two new workflows in API Nation. Now, if you're just looking to set things up, you are all set. That's it. You can go ahead and close this video, close this window. But if you want a couple of extra tips and tricks about how to manage your account and what this is all going to look like, stick with me here and I'll walk you through every little bit of the process. So first thing, I'm going to open up both of these in new windows, and we're going to take a look at what a workflow looks like in API Nation. Uh, you can see here, you've got your logs letting you know exactly what happens every single time the sync runs. And so you'll see for those repair orders and part sales, as well as for those payment workflows, you can see exactly when that data is coming through and what's happening to it. And let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So if I jump back into Shop Boss here and I go to my work in progress, I'll see that I've got a bunch of ROs here uh, that are open and that we're working on. So let's go ahead and just open any one of these. Let's call uh, Rich's Buddies, right? Uh, and let's let's go ahead and jump into the RO itself for Rich. You can see we've got a total of uh, $145.30 here on this balance. And so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and make a payment. So I'll go ahead and 
enter in a new payment and I will say we're receiving a, a cash payment of, uh, let's say $20 and we're going to save that. Now, as soon as I click save payment, we'll see a webhook come on through for the payment right here. So if I refresh this page, you'll see already we have success with that payment coming through. And if I go into QuickBooks and I look for that customer that is uh, rich right there. We'll see, we have this recent transaction. I'll go ahead and open that up. And we've got this payment right here, just came through today on the 19th for Rich's Buddies. And uh, and we see that $20 payment coming through, uh, waiting to be applied. It's still just hanging out here, but we know it's for that RO1511. And so if we close out of here and we go on back into Shop Boss, we'll see that RO1511. And let's say it's all finished up now, we're all done here. So what we want to do is we want to send this over to QuickBooks to create itself an invoice. We're going to click the status right there. and We're going to change that status to close. This is exactly the action that will send this to QuickBooks as soon as that RO is closed. It gets sent on over and we can see here if you open up the RO workflow in API Nation, you'll see that that's processing right here. Just give that about 30 seconds and it'll come on through. And then we'll be able to see that in the QuickBooks account. And perfect, we have success. So now what I'm looking for here in QuickBooks, I'm looking for our invoices and I want to find invoice. That's number RO1511. So I'm going to go ahead and sort these so I can see it at the very top here. And there it is right there. So we've got partially paid 1511 coming in. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to see, hey, we've got that that $20 payment made right here. That's it, that one payment. And we've got all these line items we're expecting to see for that subtotal 145.30 right there. And that's exactly what you'll expect to see. Now, every single time you have a new payment coming in on this repair order, every single time you have new repair orders or part sales coming through, all of that data is going to be syncing through to QuickBooks, staying up to date and making sure that your QuickBooks does exactly what it needs to do. Now, this last part here that I wanna show you is a very advanced trick that we use for some people. First, when it's their very first time, they just started up the integration, they've never used a Shop Boss and QuickBooks Online Sync before, or two, if anybody is ever seeing you know, something strange in their books or they need to fix something up, they wanna go back and say, hey, let's reprocess the last 15 days of transactions. I want all of that to come back through the system there is an option for you as well. So on the left-hand side, you'll want to click on accounting and under accounting, you'll see in QuickBooks, you can go to this bulk transfer section. Now bulk transfer, like I was just telling you guys, you see the warning in big red letters right there. It's very important that one, this is your first time that you've ever used Shop Boss and QuickBooks together and you've never had this go through a sync before. But if you're unsure or you want to use this for other support reasons, please, please reach out to API Nation or Shop Boss support staff for help. It's completely free. Just make that phone call. We'll give you a hand. We'll guide you through the whole process. We'll make sure that nothing goes wrong when you are going through this. Uh, but when you say you understand the risks and you want to move forward, you will see you have the option to bulk transfer the last 30 days of repair orders, part sales, or payments. So I'll go ahead and pick repair orders. Uh, just from today, just from yesterday to today. And just as easy as that, you can click begin transfer and all of this data will be coming through from Shop Boss and going into your QuickBooks Online account. So you'll see that data transfer right there. It says, please wait at least five minutes before attempting again. And this page is just gonna sit here. It's going to do that work for you. It'll refresh itself, give it a couple of minutes and everything will be processed just as you expect it to. And hey, that's it. So uh, thank you guys very much for sitting down and, uh, and watching this video. We hope that the QuickBooks Online and Shop Boss integration through API Nation does everything that you need it to. We're super excited to get this in your hands. And please, if you need any help, call our support staff. We really love doing this stuff. So thank you so much, guys.